hello guys welcome to this brand new channel game day plus and today we'll be showing you how to make some you know, games using unity standard assets so before jumping that we need to um, jumping to that we need to import some standard assets from uh, the unit from unity so go to assets and then import package and for this tutorial we'll only be dealing with characters uh, environment and vehicles so import those click characters and then uh, this will just say decompressing package and all you need to do um, is just uh, click um, import here so the uh, these pro packages are already in my project so just click import from there and um, after you have imported these three packets characters environment and vehicles these um, three extra folders cross platform input physics material and utility also come with them because they use some of the features from there um, so also in editor um, another folder editor is created inside the assets folder the cross platform input manage input so what this basically does is um, allows unity uh, files to unity projects to run on different platforms so how to run unity on diff different platforms we'll be dealing with that later on so now after you have done this thing we need to create a terrain let us create a terrain for just um to show how a terrain works for a little bit and how um, how um, how to we'll uh, we'll use that terrain to um, move other game objects on that terrain we will place that other game objects on the terrain uh, so this is a basic terrain so we can increase the portions of height of this terrain using the height paint here and i have so selected the second brush tool and i'll lower the opacity a bit so i think um, i do not i will not say i will create a very good terrain but i'll just show you a basic tutorial on how to create terrains here so later on we, we we may be doing a video on how to make a valley or something like that so if you want that if you want that we we can be doing that just um, in the comment below let us know if you want some extra videos and tutorials from us so we'll be doing that for you um, so this is just how a height painter works if you can see um, how um, the areas here are just um, getting at a, a higher higher point so we need to get, get some textures add some texture to this uh, terrain so go to this uh, paint brush here and then edit textures add textures and just click the select here and just type in grass so after you um after you have typed grass so this is a grass hill here just create add so this looks uh, this gives a uh, better view for the terrain and it creates some extra textures so there's some uh, let's add another texture add texture select and again type in grass but this time okay this time select the another texture available here grass rock so i need to just make some areas using grass rock so click this here and just paint that grass rock thing here so this may look a bit rocky mm. so this is just um uh example and how you can use different air and different uh, textures and different portions of the terrain so I'm just completing a hash here, so this okay. This looks like a um, one track, so where my player car may be moving. So just go to standard assets folder here, and inside here you can see characters. Click characters, and then first person. So create click first person here, and double click the first person thing, and inside there you can see a prefabs folder inside there is a fps controller just drag it into the terrain and yes this looks better and if you want to change the position of terrain just click w or press this second icon here on the uh, on those five tools available there so or you can just manually adjust a position here so some of your positions might not be zero in y so um 
I prefer it in Jira because um, it will just uh, place it in the ground. And now, uh, if you hit maximize and play, and if you hit the play icon here, and just hit the play icon there, so it is taking a bit of time. Okay, and now you can play, move your player, move your player's camera view using the mouse mouse here, um, and then you can just walk forward using WASD keys, WASD or arrow keys, and then just. Uh, jump using shift key and run you sorry jump using space key and run using the shift key given by unit and the so uh, this is how um, a basic terrain works in unity and that was the example of first person character controller given by unity so you can use um, this thing in various projects you can just attach some guns to this and make um um, data force type first person shooter games and different things so you can adjust its different um, features and different um, motion effects sound effects from this inspector panel here and um, so we are not going into the detail here because we are just surfacially seeing different assets that are being that can be used from unity so just delete the fps controller thing and um, so Inside the characters, you can see third person controller, third person controller, and uh, inside there is prefabs. Inside there is third person. Um, okay, this is the third person controller. You can see this is Nathan, uh, Ethan, sorry. So, this is a um, basic third person controller provided by Unity. Just drag it into the scene and place it above the terrain. So, we cannot see the um, character completely with a uh, real view so just drag the main camera into the third person we call so we are basically making the camera uh, a child of third person so put it in the zero zero and zero position so it is just inside the uh, third person just adjust position from here or you can also do the same thing if you are not comfortable with it from the transform section here just place it to one y to one and this on three okay three is opposite okay three not three just put in a minus two one and minus two looks fine for me and you can just hit play so since it is a child it must follow everywhere the um, third person controller character goes and i can just play uh, use um, move this character around using wasd keys or the arrow keys mm. so you can also make this character jump and then you can move uh, so if you s hit shift so it will walk so it is just opposite to what was in fps controller so if you stop hitting shift it will start running and when hitting shift it will start walking so you can jump while going forward and it has a different kind of animation and the WHD crease can be used to rotate in different directions so this is how the third person controller work works and um, the main camera cannot be rotated with uh, the keyboard uh, in that instance sorry with the mouse in that instance because of because main camera has not been assigned such properties so we'll learn um, about that in later tutorials so delete the third person controller and inside standard assets there is a folder called vehicles inside vehicles is car so i will teach you how to do something using car and um, you can try out similar things for the aircraft given here so inside car you can see prefabs and just you can see car this is not a waypoint car so just click car and drag it into the terrain so inside uh, place the main camera inside car as um, meaning make it a child of car and then just and this looks good and this i think minus five looks good so two minus five looks good for me so check it out it may look look same the same value may look good for you otherwise it may not look good for you so if you start playing the game you'll see you can move the car so it has a default audio and um, it looks it looks good while playing um, with this car so and there is a way that i just created some time ago so we can we are trying to move the car in that direction and if you collide with the um, so terrains um, the car should go 
the car should collide there um, and it, it can follow a path and it, you can just apply brakes so and what i'm going to show you here is what happens when you jump off the terrain so i'm just trying to find the edge there and so if i jump off the terrain i just go um down in y-axis um uh, through infinity uh, through infinity so that means you have to set some kind of boundary here that you can do using empty game up you can do that using uh, cubes um, and different things you can set up boundaries so uh, finally before concluding uh, today's tutorial let us just add some trees and uh, the grass to the terrain so to add some trees click terrain here in hierarchy and in this inspector panel say edit trees and add tree so since we have imported the environment folder here so some of the trees must be available just such trees so trees does not work uh, desktop may be working okay uh, broadleaf desktop is one of the trees available just click that and just let add and too much of trees is not good for a game graphics so just um try to minimize the number of trees that you are using so minimize the number uh, tree density there just add trees using click mouse click as we did um the earlier time so um, we did with this um i mean earlier time meaning the lower or raise high terrain so that was that was adding trees i added some trees and for grass do the same thing it details add grass texture not mesh so if you have your custom mesh you can do that or you can just say grass and add this type of grass or anything so again same thing here too much of grass is not good because it will um, degrade the quality of a game so in opacity adjust the opacity and target strength things and just apply grass here so uh, i have applied grass to different areas and if you think you are being uh, you are placing the grass in wrong position just if shift and um, do the same thing so um, it's a remove the grass so if i try to move around and play with this uh, so it should move and there's our okay i'm experiencing some lags Mm, this is not because uh, of unity but become more because of uh, the fact that i am in um, um, a power saver mode for my laptop here so you can see i collided with a tree there um, and you can also see that um, uh, every tree has the same property every tree can be collided with so Mm, these are the grass and uh, by default this grass are moving a bit to give you a sensation of movement so yes you can see that grasses are moving uh, in di in different directions or sometimes in in the same direction so that de happen that depends on how you select your mesh to be and how you select the wind zone thing to be so this is uh, this must for uh, i think um, this will be all for today guys and uh, in later parts of the tutorials uh, we'll be doing with um, we'll be dealing with the equations and uh, and uh, for that time good uh, good day and have a nice time bye bye thank you for watching this video